What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 2.3 of the tutorial series on AWS Cloud Formation. So guys, in this tutorial, we will go through the intrinsic functions. So intrinsic functions are basically a built-in functions uh, that comes within the AWS Cloud Formation or the template we can see, right? So when do we need to use intrinsic functions? So that's the question that might arise. So the answer is that when we want to define a condition, at that point of time, we can or we will require intrinsic function, right? So for example, within an EC2 instance, you might want to consider adding different configuration for prod environment for a given instance. And similarly for the test environment, you want to minimize the configuration of an instance to save money, right? So here we can use conditions to handle such scenario. And again, for defining conditions, we will be using built-in function or the intrinsic function. So, now let's see uh, what are these intrinsic functions. So as you can see on my screen, I have listed out all the function, right? Basically an intrinsic function uh, that we can use under conditions, right? So we will start with the function and. So on the first line, you can see F and colon colon and, right? Let me put space here. So here, the very first function that we have is and, right? So within and, we can define list of conditions. And basically, uh, as you know, it will return true if all the specified conditions evaluates to true or it will return false, right? So the very first statement is function and x as an and operator, right? And the minimum number of condition that you can define is two. And the maximum number of condition you can define within and is 10. Right, and its syntax looks something like this. This is basically the YAML syntax that is function and followed by the condition that you want to define. And we can also use the short syntax that is exclamation and followed by the condition. And here we have an example saying my and condition followed by the and function that is exclamation and short syntax followed by the condition that equals uh, some value that is SG my SG group and it is referring to a security group followed by the another condition. So what's happening here is that uh, my end condition, that is this one, my end condition will evaluate to true if the reference security group name, right? So this is the reference security group name is equal to this, that is SG hyphen my SG group. And if some other condition evaluates to true, then this is going to be the true condition, right? So this is some other condition that you can define. So minimum is two. So you need to define at least two condition in order to use and operator or the and function, sorry. Right, so that's basically and. Now moving along to equals. Let me delete this. So here we have function colon colon equals. So equals basically compare if two values are equal straightforward, right? So it will return true if the two values are equal as it will return false. And the syntax is uh, something like this. That is function colon colon equals colon into square braces value one and value two, right? And we also have a short syntax uh, that starts with the exclamation equals, right? And the square braces followed by two values. And we have an example saying use prod condition equals and we have one reference from the environment type and the value. And here basically user prod condition evaluates to true if the value for the environment type parameter is equal to prod, right? So that's a quick example of the equals. Now moving along to another function that is if. So basically uh, if condition or the if function will return the first value if the condition is true, else it will return the subsequent value, right? So uh, we will have a look within an uh, syntax or the example that how it works, right? So basically, uh, currently AWS Cloud Formation supports the if intrinsic function in the metadata attribute, update policy attribute, and property values in the resources sections, and output section of a template, right? So that's where the uh, if condition or the if functions is supported at this point of time. Then we have a syntax saying function colon colon if colon condition name. So here basically it's going to be the condition that you want to define. And if this condition evaluates to true, then it will return uh, the first value. That is basically the second parameter. 
and if this condition evaluates to false then it will return the uh, third value right that is the subsequent value of the second one that is value if false right and similarly we have the short syntax that starts with the exclamation now let's have a look at the example so here uh, we have the security groups right so basically uh, here security groups is referring as the property for an amazon ec2 resource so if the create new security group condition evaluates to true that is this one right so if the create new security group condition evaluates to true then aws cloud formation uses the reference value of the new security group that is this one right if it evaluates to false then aws cloud formation will use the referenced value of the existing security group right so if this is true it's going to use this simple if this is false then it's going to use this straightforward right so that's basically the if function now moving along that is function not now basically not will return true for a condition that evaluates to false or it will return false for a condition that evaluates to true right so basically if, uh, not will act as a not operator right now here we have the syntax that is function colon colon not colon condition and similarly we have the short syntax that starts with the exclamation not and the condition and again we have an example to understand this function that is my not condition so here basically env condition evaluates to true if the value for the environment type parameter is not equal to prod right so if the value of this environment type is not equal to prod then it's going to be true right else it's going to return false so that's basically not and finally we have one more function that is or so or will basically act as an or operator right so basically or will return true if any one of the specified condition evaluates to true or it will return false if all of the condition evaluates to false right so basically it act as an or operator and the minimum number of condition that we can define under or function is 2 and the maximum number of condition that we can define under or is 10 and then we have the syntax that is function colon colon or and followed by the list of condition that you want to define and again we have the short syntax let's have a look at the example so here basically my or condition that is this one evaluates to true if the reference security group name is equal to sg hyphen my sg group right so basically it is referring to this one or if some other condition evaluates to true then it will return true right so if both the condition evaluates to false then it's going to return false if any of the condition uh, within this list evaluates to true then it's going to return true so as i said uh, you have to define minimum two condition and any of the condition evaluates to true it's going to return true right and maximum number of condition that you can define is 10 Right, so that's basically the intrinsic function uh, in AWS Cloud Formation that we are going to use in the next tutorial. Right, so in the next tutorial, we are going to add one more section within the template that is conditions uh, section. Right, so well, uh, that's all for this tutorial. And as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below, and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.